There is a gentleman. I am a Jesse Bonine. The boy that blew the flute, Oja, in Oja Piano and Oja Ginger. Keep streaming. Right after I read this. Welcome back to Talk to Zamil, your ultimate destination for intriguing discussions and hot topics from around the world. And today, we have a topic that has been buzzing across the internet. We're going to dive deep into the controversial song, Oja Piano by Case from Nigeria, and why it's causing such a stir among South Africans. So buckle up and let's get started. Come! The song was buzzing around the whole after and before you know it, it reactions like and no we're not gonna let that happen and also this do you think south africans will come for you for that they're already on me like they're coming for you for that my phone is buzzing <laughs> start started showing up if you're new to this channel welcome please do well do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications by clicking on the bell icon so that you will be the first person to know whenever i drop an amazing video like this to understand why south africans are not happy with oja piano we need to take a closer look at the controversies surrounding the song. There's been an ongoing debate about cultural appropriation and the portrayal of South African culture in Nigerian music. Many South Africans feel that their traditional music and dance styles, such as Amapiano, are being misrepresented and exploited by Nigerian artists. As we can see from these vibrant clips of South African traditional music and dance, Amapiano has its own unique identity and holds a special place in the hearts of South Africans. However, some argue that Nigerian artists like Casey are appropriating these cultural elements without giving proper credit or understanding their significance. Let's take a look at some of the social media posts that highlight the South African discontent with Oja Piano. People have been expressing their opinions, and it's clear that many South Africans believe that Casey Song is a prime example of cultural appropriation. They feel that it's disrespectful and dilutes the essence of their own cultural heritage. It didn't stop there. Here's another social media post saying, It's the high time we support Igbo music's most especially this little boy called Ojazi Igbo Neil, the man behind Key's Oja Piano success. I'm calling out on Olamide, you the king and special in helping bringing out raw talents. Please help this boy to move on. Japiano music video to get a better understanding of the controversy. It's important to see the visuals and interpret the elements that have sparked outrage among South Africans. Here are some comments from the YouTube video's comments section. As you can see, South Africans are expressing their disappointment and frustration with the way their culture is being portrayed. They believe that their cultural contributions are being overlooked or misappropriated for commercial gain. So, where does this leave us? It's crucial to have a balanced discussion and explore both perspectives. While some South Africans are voicing their concerns, others argue that music should be celebrated as a universal language that transcends borders. Come to my face. In fact, there have been successful collaborations between South African and Nigerian artists that showcase the beautiful fusion of both cultures. These collaborations promote unity and understanding, which is what music is all about. To shed light on the other side of the argument, let's take a look at some positive comments on social media that support the idea of cultural exchange. Some fans believe that through music, we can appreciate and learn from each other's cultures, ultimately fostering a more connected and harmonious world. In conclusion, the controversy surrounding Oja Piano by Casey from Nigeria has sparked a heated debate among South Africans. While some feel that their culture is being appropriated, others emphasize the importance of cultural exchange through music. As always, it's essential to listen to different perspectives and respect diverse opinions. 
And that wraps up our discussion on why South Africans are not happy with Oja Piano Casey from Nigeria. It's a complex issue that raises questions about cultural appropriation and the impact of music on society. I hope this video has provided you with a better understanding of the controversy and encouraged you to engage in constructive conversations. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Talk to Zamil for more thought-provoking content, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, stay curious and keep the conversation going.